Yeah, yeah, hello about this, but I can't sleep. You don't want to talk about storm. Are you going through storm in your life? As a child of God, you see? What are you going through small storm, medium storm, long storm? Storm come in different shape and form in the life of every believer. We need to know this. When you give your life to God, guess what? You become a target of what? The devil, you see? Devil gonna throw all the chicken sink to you to make sure that you do what crumble. You see, and that is why I'm here today to tell you when you go through trial and celebration, you need to remain firm. Never complain about your struggle, whether with your children, whether with your husband, with your wife, whether with your workplace, any stone that you are going, both emotional, both physical. You see, every circumstances, every trials, every distraction. You need to do what? Focus your eyes on Jesus Christ, who is the author and finisher of my faith and your faith. You see, there are three types of storms in this life. One that God lets happen to you so that your faith will be tested. You see, and that is only where Christ can know if you are a genuine believer. You see, another storm, the one devil created because you are looking at the wrong thing, at the wrong time, at the wrong place. You shouldn't be looking at. Let me give you, for example, for that one. You remember the book of 2 Samuel chapter 11 from 1 to down when David was the year of war David refused to go to war he was, he was lagging behind and because of that he was looking at someone's wife he said Bathsheba you see he ended up sleeping with her just one night she got pregnant you see and after she delivered the baby God still take away that baby because what that wasn't something God do what project in his life you see it was impatient you see and that is another storm devil created for david and devil for david fall for it you see and that's the same problem is still happening today you see there's another storm that you just let it happen because what you are not trusting god you see listen every storm that come in your life guess what god knows about it guess why because god is in control in my life in your life you see whether they will like it or not you are a child of god you need to go through uh, trials and tribulations so that you can make it into the kingdom of god you see and that is why i'm here today to encourage you any storm that you are going whether with your partner with your with your with your husband with your wife with your children it doesn't matter the one thing I cannot guarantee is this God is on throne. Once you put God on, on throne over your life, guess what? He is in charge because He knows the beginning to the end. Look, look at the life of uh, Joseph. He was being what? Being sold by his brothers. He went from prison to what? To palace. You see? Even before that time, there was another stone that was in his life. Guess what? God will prepare him so that he can handle the Egyptian people, can help them in the economy. There was there was a, one of the one of the soldiers, uh, one of the prisoners' wife. Guess what? Joseph did not fall for me. Joseph left his court and ran away from her so that he will not sleep with her. You see, that was a stone that God let it happen in his life and. Joseph did not fall for him because he trusted God. You see, my key point here in this message is this. When you are going through storm, you need to do what? Remain firm. No shaking in the house of God. Remain firm because you have to go through storm so that God can make a way in your life, in my life, so that he can lift you up. You see, when I'm going through storm, even as a child of God, I'm going through storm in my life. Guess what? I never complain. I've cast my cares onto the Lord because I know God cares for me. You see, and you should do the same thing. And I'm here to do what? To encourage you. When you go through storm in life, you need to remain firm. Remain faithful to God because He knows how you're going to finish up. How you're going to come out from that storm. You see? Listen, storm must come. If you're not experiencing, if you're a Christian, not experiencing any storm right now in your life, check your faith. I said it, check your faith. There's something wrong with your faith, you see. Because Bible, once you give your life to God, guess what? You'll be a target of devil. Last night, I had one visited me. And I rebook it in the mighty name of Jesus. Jesus Christ gave me that strength to do it. And I wake up, I was so faithful. And I start singing. You know this song, I start singing. I conquer Satan. 
I conquer demons, I conquer his principalities, I conquer his power. Shout Ale, hallelujah, 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 shout Ale, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. I conquer Satan, I conquer demons, I conquer his principalities, I conquer his power. In the name of Jesus, shout Ale. Hallelujah, shout hallelujah, hallelujah, shout hallelujah, hallelujah. Devil always trying since I give my life to God. Sometimes after one month, sometimes two months, sometimes three weeks, he keep on trying. Guess what? My faith is in the hands of Jesus Christ. He can do nothing. He's a pepper tiger. He cannot bite. I have the lion on the tribe of Judah. Amen. When it comes, God always wake me up and I rebook it. He go. You have tried many times. You keep on failing. You continue failing. Because my life is in Jesus Christ. You see? I'm a victorious in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Listen. You must go through stones. You must go through trials. Guess what? To make it into the kingdom of God. So don't think something strange is happening to you. Amen. Remember blessed in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen.